welcome back to the channel. So, what we have here is my, well, new to me, BMW E91, which is the Touring um, 320D. I nearly said 330D because I've still got that there. Um, bought this from Copa, front end damage. Also got a little um, crease in the rear quarter. It's categorized as Cat N, which is non-structural damage um from the pictures it looked like it just had a front bump and um, which it has um but i could not see the damage uh from the underneath and i didn't realize the wires were shredded as well so of course with copart uh you get a bit more damage than you uh bargain for but this this front end here it was all together before it got delivered but um the other half's in the in the boot uh, now. So I don't know whether when the transporter was loading it or unloading it, they um they took these wires with it, which is quite unfortunate. I think it's just the fog light wiring. So I will have to get a new plug and solder some wires. Um, but let me take you around. So we'll open up the bonnet. This is the two liter engine. So this is the revised engine uh, from this year. So they did a facelift in, I believe 2010 and they upgraded the engines, I believe. Um, so this is the facelift uh, model. Um, it's got the nicer front bumper, nicer rear end with the brake lights. Um, inside, we've got a little nicer inside than some of the specs. So I have got, I've got iDrive and um, the BMW Christmas tree lights on the dash. Nothing too serious. I believe it's ABS sensor um, and possibly engine because the coolant, I believe it's leaking. Um, but talk to you about the inside. I've got a manual, um, came with the locker key as well, which was quite lucky. Um, I got heated seats which is really nice. I've got um, Bluetooth built in as well, because that's a, an optional extra, um, which is really nice. This is gonna be my new daily, um, which I am very excited about. I've got automatic headlights. Um, we'll be upgrading those to LEDs and we'll be doing a lot of uh, modifying, I think, in my time. Um, but lovely, all black leather, black roof lining um what else have we like got the touring is you've got a button on the glass just to open up the hatch and um, you can open up the tailgate separately if you want to so if you just wanted to put something in the boot quickly you just open up the the glass this is the other half of my bumper um they've completely just ripped it off which i'm not happy about whatsoever the well, that's the Beamer falling apart already. Um, but it didn't even come with the original wiring, so I've got to make something up, basically. Um, but that is pretty much it. Moving on to the rear quarter, if I give this a little wipe. So this is our crease. It's uh, gone down as non-structural, which is nice. Um, this can be easily sorted just gonna probably pop out the little dents and get a skim of filler on here um we've got some lovely wheels 18 inch alloys with we've got some pirellis on some of them um i'm not sure whether it's all four um but i'm glad to know that they put good tires on this michelin on the front i'm hoping they match so I know they've been done in pairs. So yeah, this has a Pilot Sport 3 on the front. And then hopefully this is another Pirelli on the back. Um, where is it? No, we don't have a Pirelli on the back. So we've actually got just a budget on the back, which leads me to believe these might be part worns all around. Um, but it's, it's no stress. Um, we've got some custom blue calipers. Um, but yeah, all in all, really happy with this. So, um, what I want to modify is actually going to be lowering it, but the back end sits quite low as it is. 
Um, so I will have to look at the kits because the springs normally come 30 mil lower, um, maybe less on the back. So I was planning on putting my MV4s, which I've got over there. Um, those are 19s with fresh tires, um, freshly refurred onto this possibly and having it sit um, much nicer on 19s. So um, that might be the future um, for the wheels on this thing, um, but definitely maybe some 10 mil spacers and um, lower it just slightly as I do want myself a shagging wagon. Today's episode, <laughs> I'm just gonna quickly take off this front bumper and see how far the damage actually does go. So let's crack on with that. got the front end off and it is in bits um not salvageable whatsoever managed to get the uh bit out of the back and there is no sign of any of the fog light wiring um so i'm assuming they've just cut it off or ripped it off it looks quite clean so it looks like they might have just cut it just for transporting and just to get it onto the loader and just left the plug on the floor in Bristol somewhere. Um, but luckily we've got all the seals. We've got, we don't need the fog lights or the grills. We've got a front bumper, which I will show you. Um, and we've got half a um, uh, arch liner here. So this will need replacing. Luckily it's in two parts. Um, so it's just the one half and then the other half just uh, bolts in there. Um, looking at the damage underneath um, from my assessment uh, none of the subframe or anything like that is damaged but intercooler on the right hand side I don't know what they've hit um, but they have taken a knock and the front core support is out of place and cracked the intercooler in a couple of places as you can see there's oil leaking out of it um, and it's cracked on the other side there. Um, it has bent it a little, I believe, uh, on this side, all the plastic's completely sheared away. Um, so it's looking like a front core support, just the core support, the sand panel is fine, um, but I do just need the metal frame that the rad and the intercooler sits on. Um, but I wanna try and get around removing all the ac lines etc because it's all charged up um and it's all good to go so um i believe i'll need a intercooler um replacement plug um and probably solder some new wiring to that um other than that i think that is the extent of the damage um luckily headlights were saved um and the um well the oh we got a power steering cooler here as well which i didn't realize um i think that's their power steering or that might be an oil cooler i'm not not entirely sure right now but we've got rad uh, oil or power steering cooler and ac condenser um all good apart from the intercooler because it was lower down um and it's obviously cracked the entire sort of thing there um so quite unfortunate didn't realize from the pictures but it is what it is obviously looking because i can now um brake pads will need changing bit of a lip on the disc but nothing that won't pass an mot so it's definitely a disc um just a pad change uh on the front um but everything looks all good other than that guys. always thank you all for watching thank you for continuously supporting the channel, leaving your comments, liking the videos, and ultimately just watching them. Um, yeah, thank you all guys. Please click the like button down below. Click the subscribe button if you're new and you wanna continue um, watching these videos. Click the bell icon if you wanna be notified when I upload. And that's it for this episode, guys. Hope you've all enjoyed. Catch you all in the next one. Peace.